So we've got a classic lunchtime abs for you today. 10 minutes, 10 exercises, starting on a new exercise on the minute, every minute. Pick your level, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest, or you can go for the 45 on, 15 seconds rest, that's what I'm gonna go for, or you can go for the full 60 seconds with zero rest. So essentially you're gonna do 10 minutes of abs non-stop. Okay, dead simple, follow along. Generally the exercises are gonna start off um, easier, and progress through to the harder exercises at the end. All the way through, remember it's your abs that we're focusing on, so if you ever feel it in your lower back, just take your time and check your form before you carry on. Let's get stuck in. So we're starting off with some heel slides. So lying on your back in this position, three, two, one, off we go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide the foot out just off the floor and back in, okay? And then you're gonna send the other one out. So you're just hovering that foot just above the floor. You might even sort of drag it slightly along the floor. This is designed to wake our abs up and teach us, us to use them properly. So keep that lower back pushed down. Okay, that's 30 seconds. So take your break if you're doing that level. Okay, and that's 45. So take your break if you're doing that. But if you're doing 60s, keep going. Dead simple next, we're moving on to a plank. So I'll give you a shout. 60s, you're going to go straight into this. So send yourself over and three, two, one, off we go. So good, strong plank position. If you ever feel any lower back, just lift the hips in the air just that little bit. Okay, that's 30. Well done. And break 45. Okay, two down, we've got eight exercises to go. We're laying back on our backs next for some crunches. So the difference between a crunch and a sit-up is the crunch is just bringing the hands up to the top of the knees. Okay, off we go. A smooth contraction of the abs. So each of these ab exercises building on the one previously. Okay, that's 30 seconds down. And break 45s, okay. Hip taps next. So press up position. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come across the body and touch the opposite hip. Three, two, one. Off we go. And try your best to not sway from side to side. Keep that body locked, abs braced. Keep 
breathe in and focus on that good posture, head back, shoulders back to the even point, that top hand to the ceiling, try and avoid this if you can, that's 30 seconds gone. Keep going, 45 is nearly there, five more seconds. And break. Okay, spin yourself around. At the halfway point now. Okay, three, two, one, off we go. Other side now. Oh, it's warm today. Concentrate, breathe, abs braced. Keep focusing on those three things. Start to shake a little bit, don't worry, that's a sign of all your muscles contracting, trying to hold this position nice and braced. So don't worry about that. Just keep reaching for that ceiling or keep that shoulder back, however you want to do it. That's 30 seconds gone. Come on. And break 45s. Okay, we've got four exercises left. We're going for an oblique crunch on the left-hand side now. So, lay yourself on your back, hands on your temples. You're just going to rock the knees to one side, and we're just going to do a very small crunch up. I'm really trying to focus on this side, okay? You're not going to have a big range of motion. You might only want to be able to take your legs to sort of the halfway point. But as long as you're focusing more on one side of the abs than the other, you're doing the right thing. If you can, you can always put the hands behind the head to support the neck a little. As long as you're squeezing those abs, these muscles here, that's 30 seconds gone. Break. Now we're actually not going to do the right side just yet, we're going to save that till the end. We're now going to go to a long lever plank. Okay, so that's hands out in front. Press up position, walk those hands out. Off we go. The further you walk your hands out, the harder it's going to be. Just walk those feet back a little bit more, make that plank more challenging. Okay, that's 30. Halfway if you're doing a 60 second one, dig in now. And break 45. Two exercises left. Sit-ups with reach, and then we're going to do those oblique crunches on the right-hand side. So sit-ups with reach, you can either reach forward or reach up. Off we go. So coming back, as you come up, reach up. Working. 
and you've done third. Well done. Great job. And break 45. Oh, my abs are burning. Come on, 60s, you've got 10 seconds left. Finish it off. Three, two, one, and you're done. Great job. So, that was your 10 minute abs for today. Let me know how you got on. Remember, you can always bridge that gap. Say you're jumping from the 30 second one to the 45 second one, you can always maybe go 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. And likewise, if you're looking to progress past the 45 seconds, if you're doing it with us live uh, results, what you can always do is um, do the 45 seconds when you hear me shout 45. Just try and hold on for another three, four, five seconds. And just kind of slowly work your way up to that full 60 seconds and you'll do really well. So, hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you soon.